Welcome to this video tutorial about designing an MV network on DocWeb using a generic single line diagram and relay protection. In this video, we'll explain how to initiate generic equipment and customize it to meet your project needs with a defined ABB product. This new feature lets you select your equipment from a given generic switchgear or protection relay. This is particularly useful if you don't have full knowledge of the ABB product range. However, if a specific switchgear reference is already defined for your project, or if you know ABB's portfolio well, proceed as explained in the MV Network Design and Calculation video to choose a specific ABB switchgear and protection relay. From the project dashboard in Connect Partner Hub, click on Create a new SLD. Then, in the Diagram Parameters window, select the Medium Voltage Power Supply in order to also work with the Medium Voltage Network and products. Let's start drawing our first generic switchgear. Under the New Page tab, click on the Medium Voltage section in the left-hand column. Select Generic Switchgear to access every generic panel available. In our example, we chose incoming and outgoing panels with withdrawable circuit breaker. We also added loads from the common section. After designing the generic switchgear, you can run a calculation by clicking on the compute icon. When the calculation is complete, the single line diagram should turn green if the network is designed properly. Yellow warnings can be adjusted later in the object properties section. To define a specific switchgear from a generic drawing, select a panel or a switchgear block and click on the Switchgear Wizard icon under the Object Properties section. This icon is available either at the Block Diagram level or under your Single Line Diagram tab. From this new window, DocWeb offers the products relevant to the generic unit selected and the rating calculated in the computation. For example, we can choose here between Unisec or Unigear Switchgear since both have withdrawable circuit breaker panels selected as generic panels, and both switchgears are suitable for the calculated rating. To help you determine the best solution from the available ABB switchgear, simply fill in a different field. You can select the main application, location, or other criteria to narrow down the product list. Once you click on the next step, the configurator window will go to the next tab named Functional Unit 1, which corresponds to the first panel selected with protection relay availability when designing your switchgear. At this step, the wizard will guide you in selecting the ABB protection relay for your project. Remember that if a specific protection relay has already been defined for your project, you can skip the wizard and directly select the unit properties in the right-hand column. Let's begin with Functional Unit 1. Relays can be selected with one of two methods, Protection Function or Application. Application is based on the final application of your units. When choosing an application, DocWeb automatically selects the best protection for your need. Protection function will help you choose the right units depending on the functionality required in your project. The protection functions are sorted by ANSI codes. Communication protocol and traditional transformers or sensors are also here to further specify your requirements and narrow down product availability to help with selection. For example, if protection function is selected, relays are listed by function and codes. In the Protection Function table, selecting functions will filter the available relays for the panel. The Advanced Toggle can be switched on to add additional protection functions to the list. To narrow down the selection, the communication protocols can be defined as well. If no communication protocol is selected, the TRIP unit list will include all possibilities. Finally, you can filter the relay list by choosing either a traditional current and voltage transformer or sensors technology. Under the TRIP unit section, DocWeb displays every relay available depending on the criteria previously selected. The TRIP unit section also has an advanced toggle. 
If switched on, the tool will display the complete range of products for the same model. If left off, only the generic variant of the Relay family will remain. For example, the REF615 can be categorized into several variants, depending on your need. After configuring the first functional unit of your switchgear, click on Next Step to go on to the second and third one. In our case, the protection relay of the third unit will be defined by its application. To do so, select Application in the drop-down menu. Then the application field becomes active and the protection functions table is hidden. You can now select the desired application in the list as well as communication protocol and transformers or sensors to filter the available trip units. Depending on your project, choose the best application for your need and select the best trip units from the list. To save your configuration, click OK. Now back on the single line diagram. Important selections made with the configurator are displayed on the top of each panel. Selected relay, protection functions or applications, and communication protocol. After the configuration, DocWeb automatically assigns the right current transformer or sensor to your panel depending on the chosen relay and type of ABB switchgear. This feature is essential to be able to use the curves functionality. In addition, DocWeb automatically assigns the right voltage transformer or sensor and homopolar current transformer according to selected protection functions. You can always change the given default and suggestions. To change a relay, you can either start again with the switchgear configuration or modify a specific panel by clicking on the Settings icon in the Functional Unit Properties menu. Or you can modify the type of ABB switchgear from Unisec to Unigear. To do so, open the Configuration Wizard window, and under the General tab, select the Switchgear family. When changing the entire switchgear, DocWeb will keep the previous relay selection if compatible with new selected switchgear. Within a few clicks, you can also change the type of transformers and sensors or add a homopolar transformer. To completely deactivate the DocWeb Assistant, switch off this toggle to choose a relay manually and come back to the previous method as presented in previous videos. You can mix a predefined ABB switchgear with a generic version in the same project. DocWeb offers both methods, so you can choose which best fits your project needs.